This drill's going alright, but customers complain that it was noisy and I noticed a burning smell off it, so I'm going to open it and see what's going on. Right, I've taken the 14 screws out of here. Now we're going to open the drill see what's going on. First thing you have to do is remove these four screws here. Not let you lift this compartment out. But before we do that, I'm just gonna have a look at these brushes. As you can see, there's absolutely nowhere in them brushes at all. So that ain't the problem. We'll take out the screws anyway. This wee plate comes out as well. So with that out, you might be able to slide this off. Enough. We see what's happening. That's it. Oh, right. Take a look at this. Look at the armature. It's all marked the whole way around. Big slices out of it. There we have our problem. Right there. Fill coil uh, looks alright. Might just clean that up. And the brushes that we touched on, virtually no wear in those at all. So, what we're going to do is remove the fill coil, or remove the armature and replace it. And hopefully, that'll get us going again. Can you remove this? <coughs> these two cogs pull out of these these little bearings. You'll have to look at them later. Um it's a washer. Rubber o ring goes there. No ring in each one. That should just pull straight out. Quite simply. That's how you remove your armature. Put the new armature in the same way. Just need to stay done. That's it. Fits in nicely there. 
before we proceed putting it together again, we're going to have to clean up the fill coil. We have given the fill coil a wee wipe up. Looks nice and clean now. So, we'll try putting this together again. When you've got this all lined up like this, you may have to remove this here. Easier if you don't, but I think on this occasion we may have to just to get things to line up properly. Getting this all lined up is tricky. Getting everything lined up with all these uh, that's not too bad there now. Everything's dropped into place. Finally. Your switches, your hammer and your height and low speed. They're all clicked in. And now we have to line up this part of the apparatus and put the brushes as well. So this can be quite fuddly too. Looking a little bit better now. Seems not closing quite right, so I'll have to have another look at that. Well, the seams are looking better now, um, not too bad. So, therefore, I'll put on all 14 screws and see if I have her going now. That's all 14 screws back in again. So, hopefully. Everything will go all right now. In a moment of truth.
things going. Everything sounds good. I'm well pleased with that. That's an armature replacement and a Panasonic EY7880.